E Robert, E Robert, E Robert, E Robert. What's going on, guys? Episode, what are we on? Five? Five or six? Astro to your guide. Uh, today, we are going to be going over the spaceship. Um, previous episode, we went over the, uh, the, the, with the rover and the truck. So I'll put a link in the top right of the corner of the screen, you know, in case you missed it. But today, we're going to be going over um, the spaceship and the vehicle module. Uh, to con continue with the vehicle module, actually. Um, first things first, uh, you can use the shuttle if you want. I would suggest you not. Just like with uh, the rover on the truck, how the rover is the first tier of the land vehicles and the truck is the second tier. Um, obviously, the spaceship, as you can tell, is much bigger than the shuttle. I mean, you can use the shuttle if you want. It's all up to you. But obviously, you know, you have that shuttle in there. It's able to carry more. And yeah, it's just the bigger, better version. So yeah, go with the spaceship. But before you can get the spaceship, you have to find, you know, those unknown chunks to research in the world. Uh, do we see one anywhere? Anyway, like, you know what I'm talking about. You should know by now. Uh, once you research it, if you're the RNG, you'll get the spaceship. Same thing with the fuel condenser. This is another thing we're going to need. Um, you can learn it through the unknown chunks of the world. And let's just go over the fuel condenser first before we get into the spaceship and you'll see why. So the very first thing you want to do is get the fuel condenser. Um, because this is going to be the thing that produces fuel for you from the energy um, uh, that you obtain. You can go and, and uh, I guess, you could go and mine it for yourself if you want. Or you can just, you know have this thing that produces it for you freely. It just works off the energy. So right off the bat, because it's dawn and we're going to need as much energy as we can get, is this fuel condenser. Very really simple, two copper, not, like, not that expensive. They have yet to update it yet. I believe now it's eight bars, and the next update it's going to be 16 to produce. I mean, this is it, this is all you do. It will automatically give you this little fuel, and just like that, I mean, this is the fuel that's going to power, power your spaceship. So either way, I mean, if you want to go and research it yourself, it's all up to you. Um, I'd prefer you get this. I mean, because all you have to do is uh, have energy in your set. Let's just put that in my backpack for now. Because we're going to keep producing as much as this we can for now. Because the sun, like I said, is about to come up. I have some... I have a battery... I have solar shields going now, so yeah, let's try and get as much as we can here. We'll get four. Randomly, off topic, I have lost all of my vehicles. I have no idea. It's alpha. I was wondering if they are in the sky or not, but I have no idea where they went. Um, very random. I don't know if I had anything valuable on it, but yeah, I lost a rover, and three rovers and a truck. You know, that's actually them right over there. They're in the sky if you can see them. I have no idea how they even got over there. Okay. So, next things next is the spaceship. Again, you have to find the blueprint for it in order to build it. After that, very simple. Vehicle module. Four aluminum. Four aluminum? Yeah, four aluminum. Or, excuse me, four copper. Um, and bam. So the first thing we're going to do with this, we're going to get the fuel taken care of first. So we can get on to adding what we want to it. So just like that, spaceship. Now, just like the vehicles, you're able to insert whatever you want. Again, see the space shuttle will just have one, I believe, or just a two slot. Basically, go for the spaceship. Why, why even waste your time with it? And basically, we are going to take these fastest way. Oops. Get all these on your backpack. Because we're going to speed up the process for you. Put these all on your backpack. We'll get that going. And this is going to be your fuel gauge. I believe the maximum it can hold is like 20 charges. Um, according to the Wikipedia. I'll put the Wikipedia down in the description because, you know, according to them, uh, to get them, you know, the source. Apparently, you can... You can basically charge this 20 times, so I guess a takeoff and landing is one charge. So, 
yeah, so you can do that. Basically, take off as one, land. So yeah, they, I mean, do the math. Let's get this fuel here going. Again, get this in your backpack first. So we're going to try, we're going to get this fueled up. This is why you save your time. Wait, what? Come on. There you go. So just like that, you can just keep pumping it out. There's no reason to keep going back and forth with it. And just like that, the barrels will empty on you, so you don't have to like pick anything up or destroy anything. So that's why we put it in our backpack first. Just to save you time. Instead of going like this, we're going to come over here, we're going to grab this right here, and we're going to put it in there. I mean, you could, but we're just trying to go for, you know, time. I think maybe one or two more. Then we'll get to updating the ship of how we want to go. Now, I've already got some pre-stuff ready of what I want to take with me. This is actually going to be my first time taking off, so I have no idea what to even expect. Uh, but we're going to go prepared. I think just one more will do it and we'll be set. And we'll go over some stuff that we can add to it. Basically, I think I want to just take compound... Uh, we'll go over that here in a sec. Let me get this filled up real quick. Again, go with that condenser. Condenser saves so much time. I mean, I get, you could. You could mine it yourself. It's really up to you, but why when, just like this, we have energy? And we have two solar panels going. We have a full battery in case we need to produce some more. Okay, I think we're full. Let's try one more time. I don't know how many charges the shuttle is, but... Yeah, we'll go for the spaceship. I think we're set. Yeah, we're set, okay. So then there's no need to even have to take this with you, because it's already full. I mean, you're gonna... If you ever need to come back for more, you can come back. Okay, now that we have a full, you know, uh, now we're full on fuel, now we can edit it. Just like, you know, the vehicles. Say you have a three-man group. I don't know why they don't have a four-man seat. I don't know why, three-man, but okay. Um, I've been told that I guess it's two storage and a habitat is the way to go. So they tell me. Uh, we need four compound. I just so happen to have four compound over here. I know I have some over here. But I guess I don't have four compound. Hmm. Let's get that on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some compound. Um. that. So the storage, again, is going to increase our capacity of what we can build with it. Um, I believe the next thing we want to do is a habitat. So let me go get some compound. I'll be right back. Okay, I guess you cannot attach the habitat to it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a way to start it off. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one, and say bye bye. totally blew my mind on what to do. So here we are. Um, I didn't want to like press X and then fall out. Oh, this is crazy what they could be able to do with this. Um, obviously that's me right there. Um, I guess Terran is my, my home planet. Looks like there is an exotic. 
there is a Baron. Um, it looks like the only one that we can go to right now that's within my range. I guess, I mean, I guess, this is going to be your range of how far you can go. So we may be able to reach this guy. He's just coming into orbit. Oh, uh, what is he? What is that? Does that say radiated? Oh man, I don't know if I want to go there. Um, for now, let's go to the exotic. There's a, there's a bug over there. Let's see where we can go now. What's that one? That one's... You know, we... You know, Baron. Let's just land here. Okay. So, once you get to a planet, these are basically going to be spots for right now in Alpha that they have. I don't know what they said that they will basically try to do, like, free flying. Um, but for now, this is basically what they have for um, space flight for right now. People have been wanting some, you know, free fly. I think it'd be pretty neat uh, to be out in space, you know, in your little um, your spaceship. But I want to land in that green area. But, um, yeah, this is going to be my first... I wanted some green area. Because we already had the blue area. Give me something green. Let's just do this. This is close to it. So again, click the area you want to land to. it. Mushroom Mountain. Oh man, is this neon green or what? My eyes. <laughs> okay guys, that's, that's space travel for you. Real easy though. You need that blueprint for that spaceship, you need that blueprint for that condenser. Fill it up and be sure to pick a planet that is not as bright as mine and you'll be set. Um, very easy guys. I appreciate it. Um, next video, I guess we're going to be exploring this planet, or what else? We probably should go over the trade module. Um, I may move because this is way too green for my eyes. Uh, but again, guys, I'll see you in the next one. appreciate you watching. Say bye, guy. Bye. Bug out. I'll see you later, guys. Hey, Robert! Thanks again, guys, for tuning in and watching today. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button. It's real easy. My emblem right there in the middle of the screen, hit it, bam, you're subscribed. We have two videos on the screen also right now. We have my most recent upload and a random playlist that I have. Social media is also in the description. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and even Tumblr. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.